Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Gerard Chittick Brandon was born at Selma Plantation near Natchez on this day, September the 15th, 1788. Thirty-seven years later, he became the first Mississippi native to serve as a state's governor. Brandon was educated at Princeton University and William and Mary College and served in the War of 1812 and became an attorney in Washington, Mississippi, which was then the territorial capital. After inheriting property in Wilkinson County, Mississippi, he left his law practice to become a planter. Gerard's political career began when he became a representative from Wilkinson County in the Mississippi Territorial Assembly in 1815. He was a delegate to the Constitutional Convention of 1817 to help draft the charter for Mississippi to become a state. Serving in the Mississippi Legislature, he was elected Speaker of the House of Representatives, then Lieutenant Governor. At that time, all terms of office were only two years. Gerard Brandon became governor of the state of Mississippi for the first time upon the death of Governor Walter Leake, who died in office. Then, Brandon was elected lieutenant governor for David Holmes' second term, but Holmes soon resigned because of failing health, leaving Brandon as governor again. Following the end of this term, Gerard Brandon was twice elected governor in his own name and held the distinction of serving longer than any other governor prior to the Civil War. Brandon retired from politics and lived the rest of his life at his Wilkinson County Plantation, where he died in March 1850 at the age of 61. Gerard Chittick Brandon has many descendants who still live in Natchez. My name is Pat Brandon Dale, and Governor Gerard Chittick Brandon is my great-great-grandfather, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.